Hello, Lawrence Wayne here, and um, I'm doing a quick demonstration of a firmware update that I made to the robot recently, like software changes. So there have been a lot of bugs fixed and a lot of things that I wanted to implement before the robot competition was due that I couldn't, but now I have, at least most of the important ones. So to begin with, um, let's. What should we begin with? Let's. Begin with photo cells. So here we have print in one, print number one. Now note these brackets. They aren't these round brackets, but the square ones, which means it's a system variable. So, um, and then there's a new feature loop over here. This is a not so instantaneous loop. So it just keeps running the program again, so you don't need to do that go to start thing, which I saw myself use quite a lot. So, quick demonstration of what that does. You see this little photo cell here affects the number. If I cover it, it becomes a higher number. If I don't cover it, it becomes a slightly lower number. And if I try to tilt the robot towards light, it should be an even lower number. So the lower it is, the more light there is. Also notice that this number doesn't update on instantaneously because the loop has a slight delay on it, so that it doesn't loop like crazy unnecessarily. If you want it to loop like crazy, you just do that go to stop thing. So that's the first thing. There's a second feature as well. Um, enter now works. So here you can see print n and then loop. Now if I go to this line and push enter, see line 2, and on line 3 we have the loop. So we have a little empty line here. This took me surprisingly little time to, to get working actually. So now we're going to upgrade this to make it um, use an if statement of some sort. So if one is approximately two, right, enter, then we shall print almost. I'm just going to print almost randomly. And then what should we make it do next? So we can demonstrate the near checking um, I fixed this bug by the way the weight 100 is now weight 10 and we have a function called delay which works in milliseconds so delay 1000 do the same as weight 10 and then um, So, and we still have a loop there because I've been using enter this whole time. Um, we print the number if the number, if the first photo cells are about equal with the threshold of about 100. Print almost, wait 10, print yay, wait 10, and the if statement because now we can have really long if statements. So, if the condition is false, um, the if condition here is false, it basically performs jump and if. It supports multiple if statements, you don't have to have one if statement, so yeah, and then it should loop again and again and again. So I'm hoping this works. Almost, yay! Almost, yay! Almost, yay! It's gonna keep looping that until I cover one of these photo cells and let the light difference be big enough so now you can see the light difference if the light difference is too great 
then it will just show you the number of the left photo cell. It was 400, and now it's 800 when I'm covering it. So you could use this function, this almost if, for a photovore robot, which by the way is a robot that drives towards light. So it could check if the light is almost equal. But that's it, um, thanks for watching, hope you like the new firmware updates and my demonstrations and stuff, and um, bye.